Does this mean that me and Fans Toys are back on the same page? Fans <laughs> Toys! Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic. And in this video, we are going to be looking at Fans Toys Goose. A uh, nice bit of box art for us there. Look at that, that's a lovely shot. Lovely, lovely picture in jet mode. Uh, goose, goose. Ooh, again, really nice picture of it in jet mode. And, ooh. A bit of a bio there, if someone wants to have a quick read of a bio, feel free to pause about now. <clears throat> That's about it for the box. It's a fan's toys box, I mean, what do you want? for just one minute all right we have instructions and a collector's card we also have two guns which i think is actually pretty i like that he's got two guns i can't lie i think that's really cool um i think a little bit of paint down the side wouldn't have gone amiss but they're just solid black plastic but yeah, the two guns, uh, they look pretty cool. We also have the standard Gur face. Uh, I never use the Gur faces. <coughs> and then we have, well, you can see why I left his arms in from when I was playing with him last. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. And here we have him out of his little prison. And, well, I can't mince, he looks great. <clears throat> he really looks great. Does this mean that me and Fans Toys are back on the same page? I don't know, we, we fell out, we fell out hard. I'm sorry, but Jabba was a big disappointment to me. And I have said some unkind things about fans' toys, and I've got the dislikes to prove it. But I love this figure. I think he's absolutely stonkingly awesome. Uh, Skydive's one of my favourite... Uh, Skydive is my favourite aerial bot. I'm not actually buying any of the other aerial bots. I didn't really like Maverick, and I can't justify buying more from a set I'm not actually going to collect. But that said, I've not seen them yet. I saw Skydive and I was like, I've got to have him. <coughs> but we'll come back to that point when we do some comparisons in just a moment. He can look up, he can't really look down. I suppose he can bend over. Uh, right and left, no attitude. Arms can go all the way around. 90 at the arm, uh, individual fingers. All his fingers do fingery stuff. I keep them boxed like that because that's how you need them for transformation. Uh, let's talk about the backpack. He's an aerial bot. I think for an aerial bot, this is a perfectly acceptable backpack. Again, we'll look at some comparisons in a moment. <clears throat> right, let's talk about the waist. The waist can only go one way, but I don't care. <laughs> Simply put, I do not care. Uh, it shows, this is why me and fans toys are not fully made up. I think the waist only going one way shows a lack of final care. <coughs> I am sure there is something they could have done. Because um, this, this piece is the problem. I'm sure if they'd have just put a little twisty thing on that, so it could then go back flat against it, problem solved. The fact it didn't shows they didn't really think about that, and that to me says that mm, a little bit of care was missing from the final debris. Uh, oh, <clears throat> legs. I had a big cough before that, and you know when you cough and something sort of sticky gets in your throat? That's where I am. 
Uh, so we, we no Van Dam, but we have a nice, nice knee. Uh, look at that ankle. Ankle for days. <sighs> Colour of that fin is beautiful. We'll come to that one more when he's in vehicle mode. Um, so he's not particularly... Is it so... I don't know what to say. Um, he's a bit boxy. <clears throat> he's a bit boxy. He looks funny. He's... But I love him. I, I really, really love this figure. Even despite all his, his flaws, it, it works for me. Um, so yeah, he can't even offer much of a cuddle, if we're going to be honest. But this, oh yes he can, yes he can, there we go, look at that, cuddle time. It's because I've not brought his arms out, he's, he's mistransformed, shockingly in one of my videos he's mistransformed because I didn't get his shoulder out, so now he can actually offer a full cuddle. Uh, and actually has arms of length and not stumpy ones because you have to fold his arms for the transformation. But, like I said, I, just, I, I really, really love this figure. He, he really does it for me. So let's bring in Magic Square Optimus in truck mode. Not Magic Square Optimus, this is, um, oh God, the other one. The Transform Element. This is the Magic Square Optimus. Someone can't afford himself an MP44. But let's face it with him, do you really need one? Um, and I suppose <coughs> if we're gonna do the comparison, the one we really want to see, oh, this is gonna be embarrassing is this chap right here, who is the Zeta Toys skydive. <sighs> Awkward. Right, let's be honest, robot mode. It's it's fans toys, isn't it? <laughs> it's just, it's, it just is in robot mode. Robot mode, fans toys. N no disputing it, wait. Look, but don't forget, he's about half the price of him. Well, he was when I bought him. I, I got him really, really cheap. He was like 50 quid or something. It might have even been less than that. And he is about 90. So, you know. Uh, backpacks, again, comparable. This backpack actually folds a bit more, which was interesting. View from the back. Robot mode, it's the fans toys figure. I can't even, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm rooting since I fell out with fans toys. I'm rooting, rooting for this guy. But robot mode, it's not this guy. It's this guy. So, robot mode, I love this figure. I, 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 God, I must have said that like 12 times already. Um, it works for me. So, Let's get them. Ooh. Hello again. I've got new one of those bendy little cheap tripod things and I don't know if it's working or not. This should be interesting. I'm going to get them both transformed up. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at them in jet mode and see what we think. We'll be back. Some people have asked why I don't transform on camera. So... Let's take a quick look at a quick shot. Mm. That is why I don't transform in camera. It's absolutely Stunning. It is a stunning, stunning figure. QC31. <coughs> 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 
Uh, transformation. For a fan's toys figure, it's actually quite fun and enjoyable, with one exception. The landing gear. Getting the landing gear out is an absolute chore. Other than that, it's a delight. Uh, and I just I love how it looks. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I love this blue. Absolutely love it. I mean, just look at it. There's not much articulation to look at when we're in vehicle mode, but. Now, if I'm right, and I sometimes I am, you can get his little handguns. Oh, and make a pig's ear of plugging them underneath. Huh. Now I was quite sure you could plug them in there, but they do not want to plug. Let's try this one. <laughs> All right, they sort of plug in, but it's really tight. He's, he's a bit fat on that back peg on mine's a bit fat. How is it for everyone else? <clears throat> but it does give him some gun storage because he doesn't come with any other guns. Um, I don't care. Look at him. Just look at him. He's so lovely. Um, I could just gush about him for ages. Just, there isn't an angle. He doesn't look great. I mean, he's, he's an aerial bot for goodness sake and he looks this good. So comparisons, here is Transform Elements, Optimus. Uh, here is someone I forgot to get out of the box, ready for this, because I don't know why, but something told me these guys would look good together. <coughs> Official Masterpiece Sunstreaker, and some, he can drive under the wing, so that's cool. So yeah, that's this is how big he is. It just looks fantastic. This works, I think. I think this works. You could see someone getting out of this car into this plane. And again, they got it's it's things like the detail on the console here, and the the, the the oh my goodness, did I just really do that? The detail on the console, which you cannot see because I've knocked everything over. Oh, good grief! Well, this is going well. <laughs> there is detail on this console. You can't see it because apparently I'm incapable of getting it to the... There we go. Detail, console, and a nice little seat. Uh, to get the landing gear off, you have to open this, pull this forward, pull this forward, shove the landing gear up so it goes behind the seat to go against there. That's the only... I mean... I suppose that's what makes it a fan's toys figure. Fan's toys! <laughs> Will you stop that? And... <sighs> there is one more comparison to do. I'm not sure how we're going to fit these guys together. Oh, for goodness sake, I just dropped the camera on him. <sighs> it's your moment to shine. Ish. So here we have the Zeta. Aeroplane mode, there's not much in it, but with paint, colouring, we do have to give it to fans toys. With one except there is something on this Zeta figure which is cooler than on this fans toys figure. I'll give people a, get, a moment to guess what it is, and I really had to drag for this. You know, let's, let's face it, that's comparable, that's comparable. From all the angles, they're basically the same. 
But if I show you the ass end for just a moment, in there you can see there's this lovely little red ring, just a, just a hint. So as he's pulling away, you can see a little bit of afterburner. And if we look at the fans toys ass end, we do not have that. So for that part, this is better, but for everything else. Although the transformation on him took about two minutes because he's like a big um, Combiner Wars figure. Although I have managed to push that bit inside, which was not very clever of me. Um, I, I, think this, I still think this looks great. I think this is a great looking aeroplane. Uh, and again, it rolls absolutely beautifully. So yeah, it's, I think this is a great, great figure. It's just this is a masterpiece figure. This is what he should look like. Uh, and he is, he is a solid, nine and a half out of 10 score for the figure. Um, so far, so far, my figure of the year. I know we're only in January, but thanks to that crazy Paddy, I've had quite a few figures arrive, but so far, this one's my favorite. I've transformed him a bunch of times. I don't think there's anything that's gonna break. One thing to be wary of is it doesn't break when you separate these bits for transformation. They can come off this peg, but they just pop right back on. I don't think there's anything that's gonna snap uh, off. The landing gear is a chore, but he's, oh, it's, it's such an amazing figure. Um, anyway, I think I've made my point that I quite like this one. I'm probably, I'm not getting Maverick. I'm not going to be making superior out of this guy. I can't promise I'm not going to buy any of the other aerial bots when I see them, because if they're as good as this guy, there is that weakness gene inside of me and other Transformers collectors like me that says, I must have it. I want it. Um, but um, yeah, he is fantastic. It's funny because, you know, like, spoiler, I was a bit nonplussed by, and it's turned me to X Transbots for my Stunticons, and I've got the Zeta Aerial Bot, so I wasn't even going to look, and I just saw... It was this blue fin. This blue fin is what actually originally started my eyes drifting towards him in an unfaithful to Zeta Toys manner. And that really is it this time. Thank you very much if you watched all the way. Um, thoroughly recommend, even if you don't want to build a um, Superion. Thank you very much. Fingers on plastic. <laughs>